Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thimbleweed Park. In the last episode, we discovered some juicy journal gossip about Chuck thanks to good old Dolores nosing about his room. And that was kind of it really, we started to read his will but then we needed our lawyer um, who is attending ThimbleCon. And in today's episode, I see this being a long one for starters, a long one, and also quite cut up because I'm going to be searching around trying to work out how to get all of this different stuff I need done. To stay focused and solve this murder Ransom so stuff, Dolores' stuff, Ray and Reyes and Franklin and there's just so much to do so I'm probably going to do a lot of just off screen wandering around and clicking and then I'll just cut together all the bits I find because uh, yeah I feel like we we need to start getting somewhere, we need to start doing all of these to-do lists so um yeah the the thing about the lawyer being at ThimbleCon ThimbleCon is being held at the hotel and I'm now thinking since last recording is that what is going on in this ballroom I wonder what the guest is up to now because it's been locked this whole time it's locked hmm I really I think that's where it is it's gotta be. There's nowhere else in this hotel to go. Can we talk to the manager? Hello, Dolores. How lovely to see you today. How may I be a boo of service? Uh, hmm. How's business been going? In this town? Always slow. You know how it is. How else may I be a boo of service? Did you see my dad just before he disappeared? I saw him, but I don't know, Abu, what happened to him. Funny thing, Abu, though. Yes? Please, tell me everything. That same day, a man with a large nose, Abu, checked in and then disappeared. Weird. Dad's nose isn't big, and you know what Dad looks like. How else may I be Abu of service? Okay, so the answer is no. I'm going to check out the beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. So the only other place it could be is maybe in the penthouse. But that seems like a weird place for a convention to be. Doesn't it? I don't really know. What I do know is I'm gonna, like I said, get exploring. And I'll come back to you when I find something good. Ah, oh, okay. Ransom can use the ladder at the radio tower. That's good. Oh, let's get the clown to climb the ladder. Well, yeah, I mean, the other two wouldn't. The circus freak will climb the ladder. Uh, it's a big ladder, sorry. Waste of my time. You don't know that. For making me do this. I'm sorry. All this climbing just to solve a puzzle. Unfortunately so. What is up here? We have a lever. Some satellite dishes. What is this lever? What the hell is this? Looks complicated. Uh, pull it. No, push it. No, pull it. Now I better get out of here fast. What happened? We're off the air. Just as we feared, the government sabotaged the tower. Oh, we need to be quick. There she is. Quickly. Run, you stupid clown. There we go. She's going to be up there in no time. We need to get in, break in. I'm not going in there. They did a whole half hour hatchet job call in special on my last performance. Oh man, are you kidding me? <laughs> Quickly. Quickly, Ray, get there. Get to the radio station. Oh no, take a shortcut if you can. Oh, okay, fine. Let's have a look. Please work. Please don't be back yet. Yes, we're in. It's a turntable. Pull that lever. What did that do? There's a record on it. <sighs> Phew, what a climb. Oh no, she's coming back. But what did our one do? Oh, that turns it off from our end. Okay, interesting. 
Impressive mic. That doesn't seem to work. I can't. It's been glued to the turntable. <laughs> oh, that must be the song on repeat. Okay. Lots of there's a record on it with glue all around the edges. Lots of knobs and switches here. I don't know how. Too many knobs. Uh, I know the feeling. Uh, okay, so we can't really do anything in here. Um. Uh oh. What are you doing in my control booth? Federal agent investigating suspicious activity. Leaving now. All done. Okay. All back to normal again. Huh. What was the point of that? What was the point of that? Do we need to switch out the record at some point? Perhaps? That's the only thing I can really think of. Um, yeah. Okay, well, never mind. Never mind. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll just carry on. Just carry on having a look around. Okay, I'm back. I'm back because we have the mushrooms we found. You got any uh, secondhand crystals? Shut up, Willie. We found the mushrooms. Did we give these in to Madame Marina? We might have already done that. But the Mardu still have them. Let me double check. The monkey paw knows. Yeah, 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 you and your stupid monkey paw. Did, did I give you these before? Do you want them? What were they even for? I can't remember now. <laughs> uh, give mushrooms to Marina. I think I found your mushrooms. Sweet. Hand it over and we'll see what answers the void offers today. Well, who's the scumbag that did it? Unless the killer was a rainbow dragon powered by starshine, I can't help you. But thanks for the shrooms. Leonard and I are gonna have a blast tonight. I should have you arrested for possession. Fantastic. I'm sure my dealer will make a great witness. You win this round, witchy woman. Oh, we got played. We got played good and proper. Goodbye. <laughs> well, at least I stole your stuff, you stupid lady. I stole your tea and, uh... Your eye drops, so take that. Take that. The old Edmund Mansion Mansion. I'm not welcome here. We tell you, your knife helps you here. Ye come back, and I'll bring you all your muckle with me rusty shovel. Oh, yeah? Well, f you. <laughs> Did Doug just say something about muckluck? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Also, I, I looked up what it means when it flashes. So, it's not immediately obvious, because when I googled it, loads of other people were asking. It basically means that there's something else another character can do. I don't know which character, it doesn't actually be that specific, but... It means I just gotta keep on searching. Oh, we can actually look at his comic book. Look at this. Look out, it's Ransom the Insult Clown. Issue 1, 25 cents. Buy my beeping book. Hey, beep faces, beep all of you. The first gut-wrenching issue. Can we actually look through it? Oh, I wanted to read it. I guess not. That's a rare first edition. Yeah, 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 yeah. What have we also got? We've got the dust, we've got the snake in a box, we've got the anti-itch cream. It's my tube of Coslerick's patented anti-itch medicine. <laughs> Works wonders. Yeah, look at him go. Slather that all around. Tastes and great on also the candy dispenser which sparks. Stop, stop, birds! Can we combine all these pages together? It doesn't work in that. Got the page stuck back into the joke. Got the page stuck back into the. Got the page stuck back into the joke book. Okay, well, that's cleaned up a little bit. That's good. It's a piece of sticky tape. There's a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. 
Oh right, we have the we have the potential uh, weapon now, don't we? We need to dust it for prints. Right. Um, let's do that. Is it still with Ray? It is. Okay, so we need to go to the quickie pal. Uh, give it to Reyes. Happy to help. All right, as Reyes, can we do this? Can we use fingerprint kit? on ice pick look at ice pick with fingerprints the prints are really clear okay then we need to use the tape there it is there's definitely a clear fingerprint here okay excellent let's go back to the fingertron submit this another piece of the puzzle done about time. I hear you cry. I know, I know. Great. Okay, so what was the other part of that? Um, find a murder weapon, fingerprint the murder weapon. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals plus a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint. Oh, wait. The finger truck fully... We have, but you have that book of, um... Oh no, we don't have that book. Why did I think we had a book of fingerprints? Did we ever pick something like that up? We did! We did, and of course Ray's got it. Dull. Okay, hang on. This is the problem with leaving such big gaps between recording. I just forget everything. Uh, can we just use this straight... Nope, that was the wrong one. Use the book in the machine. We got it. We got a report. Oh, what does it say? This is the fingerprint report I've been waiting for. Fingertron report job 673628. Input official fingerprint ID book. Uh, input murder weapon fingerprint. Output. The fingerprint on the murder weapon belongs to Willy T. Wino. Or Wino. Accuracy 100%, error rate 0%. <gasps> Willy. Willy, 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 what did you do? I don't know if I trust it necessarily because he was drunk. And we knew what he was doing at the time. But. Uh, I guess we should. Um, do we need to still submit that? No, we just we just got it. Uh, we'll put all three in when we have them. Yeah, let's go see Willy. See what he has to say about this. Oh, we we don't actually bring it up. Interesting. Huh. What about if we show we'll it to talk him? Talk later. Where? What if I? Kabuka? Give. Thimbleweed Park. I don't want to give away evidence. No. Okay. Well, that's interesting then. Buy me some kombucha. I guess we just keep it to ourselves until we submit the final report and see what the uh, the final report says. It might not necessarily be him, and you know what? I'm pretty sure it won't be. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Did we ever go into hotel room 902? Back at the hotel. <laughs> Did we do that? It doesn't ring a bell which would seem kind of stupid if we didn't the doors are closed let's just go check 902 it's locked okay use oh where's my cursor gone oh yeah there it is huh huh there's a bear the label says Pillow Bear. I wonder how it got here. Give me that. That's one of Franklin's toys, isn't it? The label says Pillow Bear. The toy. I don't want a pillow. I want a bear. Oh my goodness, hang on. We have a toy bear and we have bear repellent. Ugh. Smells awful. What is this going to do? Do we really need to combine this? I do need another ashtray. 
but maybe this material is a little too flammable. Wow, okay. <laughs> Calm down, Ray. There's a passport. It's a passport. It's a German passport for Boris Schultz. Yeah, that was him. That was him. Open. It's a German passport for Boris Schultz. It's a German... Really? We can't look in it? I want to see kind of close up. No. Okay. That's a bit strange. Um... Anything else around here? The Hotel Tron 3000 seems to think this bed is made. Chuck's reach extends everywhere in this town, even from his grave. The lid of a toilet. Things don't get more amazing than that. All right, nothing else seems too out of the ordinary here. Anything strange behind the painting? I can't pull that. I can't push no. that. Uh, let's see. In case of emergency, do not... I wonder if the manager will have anything to say about this stuff. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel. How may I be a boo of service? No. Really? That's kind of strange. I'm going to check out your, um, interesting lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. What if I... Show the passport to him. They come back. I don't want to give a. No. Uh, I wonder what would happen if, well, as a ghost, work, as as Franklin, we went into that room and saw the bear. Could we comment on it? I wonder what he would say. That'd be very interesting, wouldn't it? I wonder what the guest is up to now. Hello, Agent Ray. Program any new murder simulators? Am I a suspect? Do I need a lawyer? Getting a lawyer only makes you look more guilty. That's quite a large inheritance you're up for. Is your sister next on your hit list? Do I need a lawyer? Getting a lawyer... Wow, we are really <laughs> forceful, aren't we? Bye. Blimey. Is there anyone else that we haven't kind of matched up to talk to? Uh, maybe Ransom and Ray? Let me go check. Ew. Get lost, Ransom. I'll do what I can to help you find the killer, but only because I know you pin it on me just out of spite. Just making my quota of squashing scumbags. I've said it once, I'll say it again. You, Red! Chuck. Hey, that rhymes. <laughs> I didn't do four years of clown college for nothing. Doesn't Agent Reyes ever get on your nerves? No one else should have been assigned to this case. Yeah? What gives? I don't trust him any more than I do you. Ah, I'm bored now. Okay, so that was useless. What about with Dolores? Uh, hi, Ransom. Sorry to hear about your Uncle Chuck. Thanks. Uncle Chuck was a complex person. I was just kidding. I'm not sorry. He was a... <sighs> Please leave me alone, Ransom. Not a chance. I hear you know 6502 assembly language. Yeah, I do. Why? I just wanted to see if you're the biggest nerd I've ever met. And proudly. She's pretty much just like Lisa Simpson, isn't she, in this game? What do you think of in-jokes and fourth-walling? I'm asking as a professional comedian. I don't think you're either of those things, Ransom. Off, Dolores. Ooh. Beep off, Dolores. Beep off, you beeping little beep of a beep head. Beep off, I'm tired of talking. Gotta be this one. Off, you little of a head. Just trying out some new material. Us insult clouds gotta stay sharp. You were never sharp, just hurtful. Off, nerd. Off, I'm tired of talking. Uh, great, so nothing. Nothing useful. Huh. I wonder what the. G I need to stay. F 
Okay, so now it's Reyes talking to Dolores. It's just all the combinations. Do you like being a game designer? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Any idea what these specks of dust are? They've been around since before I can remember. Oh, well, that's interesting. They've finally spoken about the dust. Technically, you're still a suspect. Do you think I did it? Oh, no, no. But Agent Ray is suspicious of everyone. Nice weather. It's always very pleasant. Well, thanks for chatting. Hmm. All pretty useless conversations. Gotta be honest. Uh, how about we try swapping some items, like... I wonder what the guest is maybe, up to now. Maybe Dolores would like this game cartridge. Thanks. <laughs> well, back to work, Abu. Or maybe not. Maybe she doesn't really talk about it. Oh, it's Ball Blaster for the Atari 5200. It was a pretty good game. Had RD physics and anti-aliasing and three lines of haze on the horizon. Too bad it got pirated before release. Oh, what a shame. Uh, what else is there? What about the eye drops? Thank you. Well, back to work, Abu. It's a bottle of Eric's Eye Magic Special Drops. The label says, ouch. <laughs> All I ever wanted to do was please Uncle Chuck. <laughs> I tried so hard, but it was never enough, and I failed him. <laughs> wow, I feel better. Oh, that was nice. Let's try maybe Ransom once ago. I wonder what the guest is up to. Great, more. <laughs> Why did my father tease me all the time? Oh, I laugh, but it hurts so bad inside. <laughs> he was a bitter and mean man. <laughs> what? Wow, I feel better. <laughs> oh my god, this game is just full of so many daddy issues. Daddy issues, uncle issues, partner issues. God. Well, back to work, Abu. It's the stub of a check that was made out to an attorney. It's a receipt from the town's electronics store. One vacuum tube puller paid in full. Oh yeah, we found that receipt in Chuck's office. Let's go to see, uh, what was that shop called? Did we get a map for, yeah, we did get a map. Um, the cake shop that's now something else. Oh, where even is it? I think it's down Beach Street. Yeah, Tube Town. Ricky Lee. Oh, dust. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to Ricky's Tube Town. How can I help you? Hi, Ricky. It's been a long time. What happened to your bakery? Oh, I had to pivot. People used to line up around the block. I'm not complaining. And I can see how busy oh, Dolores. You should see how busy. Hey, yeah, yeah. You sell tubes now. Great. The receipt. Here's an old receipt. Know anything about tube pullers? Hmm. I seem to remember a tube puller that we got from Smart Buy Electronics. We bought up all their inventory when they went under. Yes, here it is. This is a top of the line tube puller. Your uncle always bought the best. Yes, he did. Thank you, Ricky. Ooh. It's a special tool to remove vacuum tubes in the TX and AT class. TX and AT. So right, does that mean everything's got tubes around here? So what could I use as an, uh, an, ex as an example even? What about in the Quickie Pal? What's this one? It's a TX1138 tube and it looks burned out. I'm going to pull it. Oh, <laughs> it's my one now. It's a TX1138 tube, and it looks burned out. Can I swap it with any tube? Like, can I put this one in there? It wouldn't fit in that, Tron. No. Okay, so it needs to be the same. Uh, what else has tubes? Big tube. 
It's a WC-67 tube, used for water controlling Tron units. Oh, uh, hang on, so does the code mean something? WC water control... TX... Don't know, actually. <laughs> and what was the other one? It's a special tool to remove... AT. Let me try and find some more. The fireplace is very sooty and filled with great. Now I'm carrying around a handful of black soot. All right, I just picked up some fine black soot. It's black soot from the fireplace. Which I guess is going to be useful for something. Uh, I'm still trying to find more tubes. I want to try and find something that would have had uh, an AT25 tube because we could actually replace it with this brand new spare one. It's a spare AT25 tube. Very rare, hard to find. And they're very rare, so I'm gonna find one. There'll be one somewhere. It's a can of poopsie. I got some more poopsie, that is all. It's a TX1138 tube in perfect condition. <gasps> oh, oh, that's the one we grabbed from the movie Tron. Give me that. Give me that. We got it. We just took it out of this creepy robot head. It's a TX1138 tube, all fresh and shiny. Huh. Should we give that one... Should we give the bad one to the robot? Not much I can do with a burned out vacuum tube. Okay, fine. Well, let's go back to... Um, the movie Tron. See if it works in there. All right, here we go. I'm not quite sure why we'd want a movie, but it might be a clue. Who knows? Who really knows? It fits perfectly. There we go. Looks like it's working. The instructions say, insert coupon for movie. I don't have a coupon. <laughs> Looks like it's working. The instructions... Um, can I buy one? From Leonard, maybe? Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you? Hi, Dolores. Welcome back. Shame to hear about Chuck's death. He was a great man. Dude was charming. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Hmm. Doesn't seem like we can. How's your cousin doing? How's your cousin doing? I heard he got into MIT. Yeah, he did. The total dweeb. Still working at the Quickie Pal, huh? You know it, Dee Delicious. I'm keeping it real here while I work on my inventions. You're an inventor? Well, not exactly. But once I figure out how to get what's in my head onto paper, I'll be just like your uncle. Right. Why would you want to be like my Uncle Chuck? The man is my hero. He had it all. Babes, brains, and fat stacks of Benjamins. Who wouldn't want to be like him? Well, me, for one. My uncle wasn't perfect. Uncle Chuck was human after all. There's another side to the man he showed in public. Yeah, but I bet it was even more awesome than the one we got to see. I always wished he was my uncle. Although it would have made my crush on you in high school super weird. <laughs> Barf-tastic. All right, enough of this conversation. No, see no ya, more. Leonard. Come back soon, Dolores. Uh, I guess we need to find a coupon somewhere as well. I mean, we don't have one already, do we? You know what, we probably do, and Wanna I just completely forgot. Want to buy a fine leather jacket? We've got so many items spread around. I need to stay around. focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. So many different places. Who knows anymore? Who really knows? But no, I don't think we have a, a coupon. So I'm going to carry on searching. Okay, I've got another idea now as well about getting into Chuck's safe, which has a finger scanner. And we have Hi, Agent a fingerprint kit. So I could wonder we... what the guest is up to now. Uh, can we give this away? Is it going to let us give this away? Well, we need this for agent business. Oh, um, darn. What about... What could... Hmm... Actually, we've run out of sticky tape as well. Well, back to work, Abu. But, do we have anything that Chuck would have touched? 
I'm not sure, but that seems like a way to go down. I might investigate that further. 5858. Where have I heard that address before? 5858? Where have I heard that number before? Huh. Well, wait a minute, one thing at a time. Can we even get in here? All right, Vayir. You can't come in, no. Too many holes over this teed. You'd break your neck. I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> okay, then. I'll be back. Ah, uh, okay. I guess we can't. I, we can't do our little fingerprint trick. Although, the fact that we can get more tape means that maybe there's still more fingerprints we need to test. What other things could we could we test? Passport maybe? Uh, the office key? Um, yeah, hang on, let's, let's try some of this stuff. All right, so I've just given Reyes the passport. Can we use that? Back to work, Abu. There's no more fingerprint powder left. Oh no! Oh no! Do we have to use the soot? Hang on. Can Dolores give the soot? Happy to help. <laughs> okay. Uh, would that work? Can we use the soot? Plenty of powder now. Okay, good. On the kit, that's good. All right, and then use the kit. I don't want to waste the powder on that. Alright, so we don't need to do that. There must be something else we need to dust for fingerprints, though. What could it be? I doubt... I doubt the toy bear would make sense. Um... Thanks. Because we've already, we've already got the finger trauma report. I wonder so... what the guest is up to now. Yeah, I'm not too sure, actually. Well, back... It's a can of poopsie. We've got the can of poopsie. <laughs> Maybe the journal? Can we give the journal to someone? Oh, I love carrying stuff. Wow, she just gives that away, even though it's got loads of revealing, incriminating details in it. <laughs> Fine. I don't want to waste the powder on that. I don't want to waste the powder on that. No, it's not looking good, is it? I wonder what the guest is up to now. I'd better hold on to this. Can't give away our poopsie, we need that. Oh, I love carrying stuff. I don't want to waste the powder on that. No, okay, I think I think we haven't got the item yet that we would need to dust again, unfortunately. <sighs> No tengo idea de lo que estoy diciendo. Oh my. Oh my, we just used some of the tea. <sighs> El platano y llega a la medianoche. Oh, what does Reyes do with it? Oh, I love carrying stuff. He loves carrying stuff, didn't you know that? Oh my. What about Dolores? Thank you. The label says Howlin Kin Yao Tea, a magical tea. <sighs> ich mochte auf eine lange Reise mit einem Pinguin gehen. They're probably saying something hilarious, but I don't know what it is because I don't speak German. Or Italian. I've tried learning Spanish and it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. Yo! Oh. Uh, and what about ransom? Ah! Mit einem Heinrichs Guide ist für Valaira. Ra 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 ra. I wonder what the guest is up to now. German as well. Okay. Well, that was kind of interesting, but not very useful. Right? It's my joke. Where the f 
It's a TX1138 tube. Removing it would take KSCUM's phone system out of service. Oh, okay. Let's take it out. Where's our little tube grabber? There it is. KSCUM's phone system is now out of order. Don't really know what that would actually change, though. Do they take phone calls? We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. The government is brainwashing you with secret transmissions. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. We just don't know where they are coming from. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Hmm, I guess that doesn't really make any difference at the moment. Uh, never mind. Hmm, there is something spooky in that spooky forest trail. Yeah. Oh, thimbleberries. It's a thimbleberry bush full of berries. Uh, can I take some? No way am I touching a thimbleberry bush without proper protective gloves. Oh, okay. Well, at least we know they're here. Does anyone else have any sort of gloves? Oh, I can't change character in here. Interesting. What is that noise? What is that monster? Is it the pizza man? Oh, thank goodness we're out. I don't think anyone has gloves. We could chainsaw them off. That's a bit drastic, though. No, not quite yet. Hmm, there's only one thing left to do apart from put all three reports in for Ray, and that is to get the Facetron report. What did we actually need for that? I forgot. I'm going to go back and find out what we need. Insert two photos of an individual and the Facetron 3000 will verify a positive match and print out a report. Fully voice activated. Stop reading and start talking. Two photos of an individual. So we put in one. That was the Polaroid picture we took right at the beginning. What else could we put in? Do we have any other photos? Uh. It's a circus flyer with Ransom the Clown on it. Could we? Too bad about his makeup. Could we try that? We're trying to identify the victim. Oh, right. This isn't the victim. Oh, the passport. The passport. Duh. Uh. Oh, I've got to go back. Hang on. I'm coming, I'm coming, Ray, don't worry. Okay. Uh, okay, get out of the way, please. Thank you. Back to Reyes. Use passport with Facetron. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby, what's it going to say? What's it going to say? This is the identity report I've been waiting for. Read it. Face drawn report job 536582. Input photo. Input government ID. German passport. Output. Photo identified as suspicious German businessman Boris Schultz. Accuracy 100%. Error rate 0%. All right. Well, we did it. I'm going to give this to Ray. Whatever. Whatever. And that means we can go upstairs and put all three reports in the machine and finally, finally, have someone's to-do list finished. Oh man, let's go see what it says. Sometimes I just like, there's so much to do I just forget. Um, because I'm silly. Anyway, let's uh, use that in there. It doesn't seem to be working. <gasps> no. Insert three reports. Why is it not working? Oh no. Uh, let's just try another one. It doesn't seem to be working. Darn it. Things are just going to be too easy, weren't they? Is the tube not working? What's wrong with it? I don't know. Odd. It seems to be missing the tube. Oh. Uh, find missing a restaurant tube what tube is it though because we've got a i'm actually saying tube now <laughs> i wonder what one it is suspiciously missing tube 
Wasn't there a tube up there before? I wonder if it's a big fat one or whether some of these will work. Let's try them out. Hello everyone. Can I use this? That should fix it. Oh yeah. Sweet. Okay. Now can we use these? Yes. Okay, great. There's one. There's two. Here we go. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm still not going to trust what this says, but... <gasps> Willie T. Wino! Oh, what have we here, Reno? Have our big city agent, Reno's, actually solved the murder? I'll take that. Let's see what it says, Reno. Oh. Blah Reno, blah Reno, oh blah Reno. Ah, Willie T. Wino. Just as I suspected, Reno. Yeah, I'll be right back. Willie, you are under arrest, Reno, for the murder of Boris Schultz. Who? What? Come with me, Reno. Well, Willie Reno, what have you got to say for yourself? I didn't do it. Oh, yeah, Reno? These feds will break you. You want to close this case, Reno? Have at him. Okay. Who wants to play bad cop and who wants to play good cop? Um. <laughs> well, I mean, the answer's kind of obvious, but let's try it. Let's try bad cop. I'll play bad cop. Oh. <laughs> I'm the good cop, and she's the bad cop. <sighs> You're not supposed to tell him that. Well, I'm not good cop, bad cop. I did it, I did it! I killed the man by the bridge just to watch him die. Oh, well, that was kind of easy. <laughs> uh, anything else? Anything else you want to confess to? I also kidnapped the Lindbergh baby. Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of good to know, I guess. Anything else you want to confess to? I'm D.B. Cooper, and I stole all the money. Wow, you certainly got up to a lot of stuff, didn't you? Anything else you want to confess to? I'm Jack the Ripper. Okay, well, that would make you really old, but okay. Anything else you want to confess to? I took the beef. You took the beef? Anything else you want to confess to? I'm the Zodiac Killer! Alright, I think I can see where this is going. This man is crazy. Keep talking, murder boy. Uh, I killed Jimmy Hoffa for the mob! Keep going. You're digging your own grave. I was the mastermind behind the Amsterdam Diamond Heist! Blab on. You can't beat good cop, bad cop. I left the toilet seat up. <gasps> you monster. You sicken me. I think we have enough to lock you up for life. You're going to the big house, Willie. Don't mess with the feds. Later that night. I'm glad I caught the killer. And we can finally leave this stinkhole. That's not such a bad place. I learned a lot from working with you, Agent Ray. Yeah, I'll look you up if I'm ever at the home office in Albuquerque. Uh, there is no home office in Albuquerque. No shit, Sherlock. Huh, okay, I was gonna say that seemed a bit too sudden to be the end of the game. I don't think it was Willy. Hey, I might be wrong, but I don't think it was. 
Um, can we not play? Yeah, that's it now. They're gone. They are gone. Maybe it was Willy then. Huh. But they have some items that I might have needed, potentially, right? But yeah, we can still play as Ransom. Ah, I can't believe I got over again. What did I do to deserve this treatment? All I wanted to do was entertain people and make them laugh at the stupidity of stupid people. I feel like there's a lesson in all of this, but you, I'm Ransom the Clown. It's all that Franklin's fault. He was gonna talk to Chuck about putting my new high-tech Ransom the Clown licensed dolls into production at the old pillow factory. Then he flaked out. He's probably in Mexico skinny dipping with my next wife. Okay, I need to break into that pillow factory and see if my prototype Ransom the Clown doll is still in there. My comeback depends on it. You! Okay, are you done? Are you done now? Oh, great, yep. We got more things to do. Does Franklin have an update? No. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm, you know, really dead. It's just starting to, you know, sink in. I'm never going to hold my Dolores again. I never told her how proud I was of her for getting that job designing games. I was, you know, too afraid of what Chuck would think. Now I'm dead. I don't remember who killed me or why I'm trapped in this hotel. I need to find a way to escape from here. There has to be a way out. A magical book or a spell? Oh, Franklin, now you're going insane. That only works in games. Well, lucky for you, uh, that might be an option. So, I'm a bit confused as to how this all worked out because it's like, we've had these things to do. What I'm trying to say is, it, what they could have done maybe is hide some of these because they clearly wanted us to do the murder bit first. But now it's kind of opening up a bit to do the other stuff um, and they're revealing a bit more information. So that's a bit strange to kind of still show it earlier on. Anyway, I'm rambling. I can't help but feel there was something suspicious about Uncle Chuck's death. He was a bit eccentric, but deep down he had always been a caring and thoughtful uncle. But in the last few years, he became obsessed. And more than usual, with that pillow factory. I need to get inside and see if anything in his old office will help me make sense of it all. I owe it to him to find out what happened. Ah, uh, okay, so that's the office key. It's the office for inside the factory. Gotcha. What have we got here then? Get inside the pillow factory, get key to the factory gate. Yeah, yeah, we've still got the stuff about the lawyer and the will. Right. Okay, I'm done. Click back. So, what did? How did Franklin's change? It didn't yet. That's still the same. But it talks about a spooky book. Maybe Madame Marina can help with that. Um, ransoms. So yeah, now it's basically just getting into the pillar factory. Um, hmm. We definitely haven't got our items from. Nope. But then. What if we needed something that they had? How strange. How strange. Okay, well, um, I guess it's changed. It's, it's changed, but it hasn't really changed that much. I'm still going to have to... I uh... what the guest is up to now. <gasps> oh. oh, is the ballroom open? The ballroom is open. And I'm going to play as Dolores. Because we need to go see our lawyer. He should be in there somewhere, because I'm reckoning that's Thimblecon. Let's go have a little looky. Calling all geeks. Thimblecon 87 is now open. I'm a geek. Hello. Who said that? Oh, you did. A dragon. None shall pass without showing me their ticket first. Oh, and welcome to Thimblecon, of course. Uh, oh, I can't even lie. Damn. How can I get a ticket? The radio is doing a competition to win tickets. You could try your luck by calling up when they announce it. Hmm, 
okay, this is kind of tying into the cutting off the phone thing now, I'm sensing. Uh, yeah, win tickets to ThimbleCon, okay. Uh, gotta put that stupid radio back on. Thimbleweed Park's second largest nerd and geek convention. Listen to KSCUM to win free ThimbleCon 87 tickets. Okay, let's do it. Where is the radio? Uh, there's one... Where is there one? Um... Where is there a radio? There must be one somewhere. Oh, I know. Can we still get in here, even though we're not feds? I'm assuming we can. Oh yeah, he doesn't care. Oh, there's Willy! Hey, Willy! Hey, Willy! Hi, Dolores! Long time no see. Well, that's what happens when you piss your uncle off by getting a fancy job at the video game factory. Good job on that, by the way. <laughs> Chuck was fuming. I'm sorry my Uncle Chuck destroyed your life. Your Uncle Chuck was a petty, egotistical, arrogant man. But you're all right, Dolores. I guess in your case, the acorn does fall far from the tree. I wish I could give you your life back. I didn't kill that man out by the bridge. I, I hope you know that. I know that, Willie. I'm sure a jury of your peers will acquit you. Oh, great. And as soon as they can find 12 drunk, has been homeless bums, <laughs> I'm home free. What happened between you and Uncle Chuck? He never really explained why he had you blacklisted in town. If you really want to know, I took one of his many girlfriends to see that creepy insult clown perform. Chuck never could stand to lose, even on principle. So he made an example of me. My uncle was such a jerk. You're a sweet kid. Now, you might have your uncle's brains, but you still held on to your heart. Don't ever lose that. Aw, oh, this is kind of sweet, isn't it? Do you still do watch repair? I haven't done watch repair in years. Not since your uncle blacklisted me and I lost my business. I used to do watch repair for all the rich and famous of Thimbleweed County. Doesn't this music drive you crazy? I think the sheriff put it on as a form of torture. He even broke the radio so it can't be turned off. I just want to listen to some nice theremin music. See you, Willie. <laughs> theremin? Really? Isn't that like the spooky thing that you wave your hand next to? That's kind of weird. The radio is on and tuned to 198.7 FM. 198.7? What was the... Oh, I forgot what the radio station was. Uh, what was the uh, radio channel? Yeah, 198.7. Okay. So how do we make them do their, their competition? We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. I've barricaded myself in the studio, playing the same song non-stop until the government fesses up to the vast conspiracy. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Yeah, okay. Uh, good luck with that. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to keep listening. Oh, it looks like uh, it looks like Ransom has to also win tickets as well. I don't know why he wants to go to ThimbleCon, but um, yeah, there you go. Oh, the phone, the phone! It's out of order. The coin slot is filled with glue, the buttons are missing, and the cord to the receiver is cut. Otherwise, it looks fine. What? what why does it sound like a modem? <laughs> what is going on? Uh, I came here to look at whether K-Scum has a phone number. Which I think they might do? Oh yeah, K-Scum radio is 7286. But we can't actually... Oh, it's just stopped now as well. Uh, 7286. Let's go back to the hotel. Try ringing them up. Oh no, wait, this won't work, will it? Because I turned off the radio. Incoming calls. We're sorry. The number you have dialed is not in service at this time. 
All right, so I did that a bit too early, I think. I, I need to go back and switch it back out. Seven, two, eight, six. Hello, caller. You're live on KSCUM. Hello? Correctly answer two out of three questions to win four ThimbleCon 87 tickets. Your first question is... Where were the much boycotted 1980 Summer Olympic Games held? Um, probably in Moscow, right? That's correct. Here's your second question. Name the four Pac-Man ghosts. Oh my goodness. Okay, it is... Inky, no, Inky, Blinky, Pinky, and Clyde. Inky, Pinky, Dinky. Oh my goodness, one of them's definitely Blinky. No, or is it? Ah, um, I'm gonna go with Inky, Pinky, and Dinky. Aw, oh, too bad. That's not correct. And your final question. Who played Marty McFly in Back to the Future? Whew, okay, well, um, is this a trick question? Because wasn't there a guy that played him before? And then it didn't work out, so then they, they cast Michael J. Fox. I'm going to go with Michael J. Fox. You got it! Let's see how you did. You got two out of three. Close enough for a win. You win four ThimbleCon 87 tickets. You can pick them up at the Edmund Hotel front desk. What's your name? Uh, my name? Why do I... Martha Washington. Death Spank. Oh my. Oh, should we not give our real name? Maybe we're not allowed to win them. No, screw it. Let's just do it. Thank you, and congratulations. Now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover of the airwaves. Yeah, 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 whatever. That was a lot simpler than I thought it would be. I thought we'd have to involve turning off the radio and making sure no one else could answer. Anyway, let's see if we can pick up our tickets. Hello, Dolores. How lovely to see you today. How may I be a boo of service? There should be some ThimbleCon tickets in my nickname. Yes, I do have tickets from the Case Gumaboo Trivia Contest. What nickname of boo are the tickets under, please? Ah, yes, here's your nickname of boo on the list. How else may I be a boo of service? I'm going to check out the beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, a boo. Oh, I will, I will. Look at these four tickets. What a prize. Not even just one or two, but four. I'm going to give one to Ransom. What the f***? You can't carry this it, Hey, it's it's a gift, all right? Calm down. <laughs> Jeez. Um, all right, let's go a little sneak peek inside. None shall pass without showing me their ticket first. Oh, and welcome to ThimbleCon, of course. Here's my ticket. Thank you. I'll take the tickets for your friends while you're here. Saves time so you can live long and proper. Yeah, prosper. Well, this guy's not even a real nerd. Oh, look at this place. <gasps> Comics, action, figures, cosplay, legal advice. Oh my, there's Batman in the back. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, wow, Spock. Oh, okay, well, oh man, it just keeps going. I think we've probably done enough in today's episode. I said it might be a bit of a longer one, but I don't know how long it actually is. Pew, it's been pew, pew. a lot of dead air where I've just been trying to work out stuff. But um, we will have a proper exploration of ThimbleCon next episode. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.